Ever wanted to know how to make a super, super realistic cabbage cake? Yeah, of course you do. Well, now's your chance. I baked these carrot cakes in bowls and then did a little bit of carving just to give me the rounded shape and I'm joining them together with a cake card and a little bit of ganache and that's ganache that's going over the top there. La fille de l'ol assis Debout des cons lui dit assis I've taken a little bit of my coloured sugar paste and I've kneaded in some uh, Tylo powder because we're going to use that later. Back uh, to my paste, I'm rolling it out and covering uh, my ball with it. My cabbage ball. Take this bit slowly, don't rush, you really don't want to tear your fondant. But if you have a lovely quality fondant, um, or sugar paste, it shouldn't tear. This is a double-sided generic leaf veiner and I'm just impressing at the top so that I can create some veining. So for the inner leaves, I'm using that homemade gum paste that we made. You know the paste that we added some tylos in? just to give it a little bit of um, give. I've rolled these quite thinly, these leaves, and I'm going to make three, and they're gonna form the inner central leaves of our cabbage. That's just water there, and I'm now just attaching these. And you can see I want them quite thin because we're gonna be layering up and we do not want to be eating through wadges of sugar paste. La fidèle la scie. So for the middle layer leaves, again we're going to use that gum paste that we made. I don't know if you can see this, but I have cut these, I've rolled them slightly thicker. I want a little bit more body to these. And again, I'm using my double-sided generic leaf veiner just to make that impression. Now this here is a, um, I'll put a link to it below, it's a double-sided molded veined rose leaf vein. Oh my god, that was such a mouthful. Now the reason that I have used this, can you see it's given me that central line down the middle? And what we want to do is we want to create a spine essentially. So I've taken these inverted tweezers and I am following the lines that the veiners have naturally given me and I am just squeezing them to add some more um, Dimension. I want those to stick out and protrude. If you have a look at cabbage leaves, uh, that's what they do. Um, and then I'm just taking my ball tool just to thin out those edges a little bit. So the outer leaves I need to, we need to make those a little bit stronger because they're gonna have to hold up. Now I decided, I made the decision to mix 50% flour paste, that is Squire's Kitchen flour paste that I'm using there, with my green gum paste um, because I felt that 100% flour paste would just make them too crunchy. However, if you are in a very humid environment or you're not confident they're gonna hold, you can go 100% flour paste, just colour it up to the same colour. Now these outer leaves need to be quite thick because you want them to hold in cup shapes. We're going to form them. So you can see that it's thicker than what we've done before. And I'm going through a similar process but in a slightly different um, order for, for veining because we want the veining to be much more pronounced on these outer leaves. Now what I would say is I used what I had 
this is what I had at home. So before you rush out and buy anything, I would urge you to go and have a look at what you've got at home that might be able to give you that double-sided um, veining impression. We're going to form them in bowls um, and I put them this way up in the bowls and then I left them for a couple of hours and then turned them upside down over the bowl so to dry the underside. So these are petal dust. You can see I've got two types of green there and then I've got an aubergine and a purple and I am just liberally applying in the middle. Now I have to be honest, you don't need to do this at this stage. I was suddenly possessed with the, I must see the inside of my cabbage coloured for some reason. Uh, so I, I did this before I attached the outer leaves. Um, but if you would prefer to do all the colouring at once, you know, like a normal person, then obviously you can do that after you've attached the leaves. These are being attached with sugar glue. Um, if you're finding they're just not sticking, then use melted chocolate. So you can see I've used green and brown mixed together and then I went in with some, with some purples. Once the cabbage is dry, I then went in and did some sort of over dusting with a very light lilac over all those beautiful ridges that we made just to make them pop out. Il m'est resté fidèle avec ses puces. Nous sommes les rois des chutes de bidonville. Maintenant, quand je danse sous le ciel. I used uh, uh, a product called Sugar Clay, which I love. Uh, it's, it's something that, that we do at Sugar Street, and it's um, it's sort of between a modelling paste, cross between a modelling paste and a and a um, modelling chocolate. So it makes it really easy to work, and it seams together without needing any glue or anything else. But you could easily use modelling paste um, for this, and I'm just creating a handle um, and a blade, um, and those. In that picture there are my sugar shapers, which I've used just to help me get, get the shape together along, along with a scalpel. The easiest way to do this, if you haven't done something like this before, is just to copy. Go get yourself a knife from the kitchen, stick it in front of you, and just copy that thing. It's much, much easier. Now I'm showing you this last, but actually you could make this first, because this, this little puppy will need to dry um, as well. Je ne peux pas la laisser chez moi. Elle arrache tout, même le bois. Elle laisse en lambeau mon sofa. Lors de mes rendez-vous d'affaires, comme Gaston et de Metz, mes quais, souvent croquetel les mollets. Mes clients sont des charolais. Sur mes contrats, je passe le balai. Et tout ça grimpe. Okay, so silver luster dust, let's bring this knife. To a little, add a little bit more realism and then I've added a little bit of black into my silver just to kind of dull down and dusty down. Oh look, you can see my knife in the background, see? Copy, copy, no shame in that. Changement de trip chez le veto, elle rend tout, c'est vraiment pas beau. Session chiffon, fini le vélo. Guys, I really hope you enjoyed watching uh, how to make this faux food cabbage cake. If you like to subscribe, please do so here. Um, and if you think of you know anyone that might like to, to see this kind of crazy cabbage cake, then please go ahead and share it. And any questions you have, please ask me below. See you soon.